Yeah, today is February 5th, and it's about uh, 45 degrees outside. It's a little, over, a little after 1 p.m. in the afternoon. As I stated in my video I did last Tuesday on the simple VNAV, the storm hit Wednesday, and Wednesday night, Thursday, dropped the snow and the temperature. Here's a photo of our courtyard with the snow. And the temperatures really dropped, so I haven't flown not plan on flying probably till next Wednesday when it's supposed to warm up again and probably towards the afternoon. It's supposed to be 50 next Wednesday, but I think Friday morning was eight degrees as they predicted. Uh, so anyway, I've decided to come out to the airport. I had to gas up the plane anyway. Now I'm gonna make a video of adjusting the totalizer for the fuel flow. Mine has been off quite a bit. Uh, I'm kind of worried a bit about adjusting it because it, was, it used to be only like about a gallon or a gallon and a half off when I would uh, fill the tanks up. In other words, it would be, I had used less than what it was showing, but there is a way to adjust the uh, totalizer on the G3X Touch, and uh, I'm going to show that and see if we can figure it out and keep track of it. So let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the uh, G3X, and I'm going to try this a couple of ways. I know my K factor, if you look this stuff up in the pilot's guide, there's a K factor in the system that tells how many pulses are recorded, per, and I think it's per gallon, but I'm not exactly sure about that. But mine's 70,000, and I guess that's on the uh, totalizer. When you buy it, it actually shows you what you should be inputting as the K factor. And we're going to try to adjust that, and I'll show you how to do it. It's, uh, let's see, we go to this screen, and we go to the fuel calc. Now mine shows uh, remaining 14.1, uh, fuel used 999.9. .9. That's obviously wrong, and I think there's a way in the configuration to get that corrected to where it'll measure it each time. So anyway, you push the menu button, like that, and it'll say calculate fuel flow. So that's what we want to do. And again, it shows 999, actual 999.9. .9. Now, based on my calculation, it's off by 20%. And the formula to use, and I've done this on uh, two Phillips so far, and it looks like it's about off 20%. So in other words, if it says it's using uh, 30 gallons, it's only using 24, if my math is right on that. Uh, but the formula to use to calculate what the k-factor should be is the reported usage times the k-factor divided by the total uh, actual. And if I do that, mine comes out and shows that the k-factor should be 87,560. 87,560, and I think, again, that's pulses per gallon. So it would mean that clearly you up the pulses per gallon, so it'll take more pulses to show a gallon use, which makes sense. So let's go back to this again. Uh, fuel use, we'll go back to menu. Is it, uh, go to this, and I'm gonna input, um, I did a little calculation, I'm gonna input 800 gallons here and see if that uh, comes up with the correct deal. Adjustment, 10%. Oh, I, okay, I screwed that up. 800, not, all right, 800 gallons, enter. I'm still goofy, 800.00, let's try that. Huh, it's not working, it's still come up with actual 899.9, makes no sense. I don't know why that's not working. Uh, actual fuel used, 800. Oh boy, let's see, 899, still not working, 10%. I'm gonna go ahead and, and accept that and I want to see if it changes the k-factor when I do the configuration and I'll just change the k-factor uh, when I get the configuration screen. So we'll go back, back, and now I'm going to turn off the uh, G3X touch because I need to turn the power on while I hold the menu button to get into the configuration screen. So I may drop you for just a bit here while I do that. 
Okay, hit the power button. I'm holding the menu button. Should go to the configuration screen. And it has configuration mode. That's what we want. And we're looking for the engine, which I think is down. Yeah, engine and airframe. So I'm going to hit the engine and airframe. Okay, I had to hunt around a little bit to find it, uh, but I've now got it. Uh, edit out the me searching around. Took a couple of minutes, but it's down here. You're looking for GEA 24 inputs fuel flow. So tap that, all right? Now you get to this screen, it's edit input. And what we want to do is hit this button down here that says calibrate. Hit calibrate. Now look, the pulses per gallon, K factor, 77,778. So it did change by using that other screen. So if I can get that other screen to where it actually works correctly, we won't have to worry about that. But I'm gonna take this now and I'm gonna input uh, what was the number? I, ca I calculated 87,560. I'm going to put in 87,000 uh, just for an even number. One, two, three, input. All right, so, and full fuel. I'm going to change this because I think this is why it's goofing up on not, um, you know, that 9999. So we'll put 32, which is my full fuel. Uh, partial fuel, partial fuel. Uh, fill threshold. And there's somewhere in here. That you want it to be on automatic as far as the calculation but I'm not seeing that uh, let me search for it and I'll get back to you if I find it okay I've been able to find that thing I was looking for um, I'll get home I'll look in the manual again and I'll put up a uh, uh, description of how you get to that uh, deal that sets it basically cycles each time you fly it will recalculate cycle so you get the amount of gallons used versus uh, the amount of gallons available so I'll, I'll put that up on the screen but this should do as far as adjusting the K factor and I'll, I'm going to monitor it obviously I don't want to get crazy about uh, overestimating how much gas I've got but I kind of know on all the flights that I do how much gas it uses and I'll be able to tell that but in the next time I fill it up clearly I'll get a good indication of whether this is adjusted it correctly or not and if not then I'll go back and make some more adjustments but that's how you do it that's how you adjust the K factor if your plane has got the two totalizer in it and I think most of the planes nowadays do as far as the electronic stuff go I really rely on that a lot I don't rely on the fuel gauges unless I'm trying to figure out which tanks got more gas in it than the other one when I'm taking off and trying to balance the tanks so anyway that's it I uh, hope this helps a little bit okay I played around a little bit more with it uh, even though I told you I was gonna add something uh, when I got home but I'll put this in and I'll put it in a little bit before I sign off uh, so you can see it but basically what you do is you go back out of the configuration screen back to the regular screen uh, go over to the fuel calc here you saw where I didn't put the maximum of 32 gallons that will show up touch that because I've got full tanks now and down here in fuel use just hit reset that puts it at zero now when you go to the menu hit menu and you'll see calculate fuel flow it'll show fuel use zero instead of the 999.9 .9 fuel flow so this this is what I think fixes that and will each time you fly then if it's a little bit off you can do this instead of having to go to the configuration screen and change the K factor directly there so once again thanks for looking I'll see you next time